Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are discussing about bacterial transformation. Bacterial transformation is a process of gene transfer by which bacteria takes up foreign genetic material from the environment. Transformation is the process of uptake of naked DNA molecule or fragment by bacterial cell from the medium and the incorporation of this molecule into the recipient chromosome in a heritable form. That means bacteria can take up the foreign DNA from the uh, surrounding environment and that can get integrated into the bacterial chromosome and that can be replicated and transferred to next generations also. In natural transformation, the DNA comes from donor bacteria and this process is random and any portion of the genome may be transferred between bacteria. Bacterial transformation was uh, discovered by Fred Griffith in 1928. When bacteria lies, they release considerable amount of DNA into the surrounding environment. These fragments may be relatively large and contain several genes. If a fragment contacts a competent cell, it can be bound to the cell and can be taken up inside. The competency is dependent on various conditions and it is a complex phenomena. Bacteria needs to be in certain stage of growth for taking up the uh, foreign DNA. For example, uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae because, uh, becomes competent during exponential phase when the population reaches about 10 to the power 7 to 10, po 10 to the power 8 cells per ml. When a population becomes competent, bacteria such as pneumonia cocci secrete a small protein called competence factor that stimulates the production of 8 to 10 new proteins required for transformation. Gene transfer by this process occurs in soil and marine environments, an important route of genetic exchange in nature. The mechanism of transformation has been intensively studied in Streptococcus pneumoniae. A competent cell binds a double-stranded DNA fragment if the fragment is moderately large. And this process is random and donor fragments compete with each other. The DNA then is cleaved by endonucleases to double-stranded fragments of about 5 to 15 kilobases in size. DNA uptake requires energy expenditure. One strand is hydrolyzed by envelope associated exonuclease during the uptake. The other strand associates with small proteins and moves through the plasma membrane. The single stranded fragment can then align with homologous region of the genome and can be integrated into the bacterial chromosome. Artificial transformation is carried out in the laboratory by a variety of techniques including treatment of the cells with calcium chloride which renders the membrane more permeable to DNA. This approach succeeds even with the species that are not naturally competent for example E. coli. Relatively high concentration of DNA higher than would normally present in nature are used to increase the transformation frequency. When linear DNA fragments are to be used for transformation, E. coli usually is rendered deficient in one or more exonuclease activities to protect the transforming fragments. It is even easier to transform bacteria with plasmid DNA since plasmids are not easily degraded as linear fragments and can replicate within the host. This common method for introducing recombinant DNA into bacterial cells. DNA from any source can be introduced into the bacterial cells by splicing into plasmid before transformation. So these are the basics about uh, uh, bacterial transformation. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.